Beyond Two Souls is still the most emotional game I've ever played. Really? More than Heavy Rain? Really? Okay. But yeah, just... I don't know, it could have just been in the time and place yeah. that I was at, uh-huh. playing, especially playing this game. Like, right. fucking hell, man. It just hit me so hard. I was sobbing like a baby. And the, the acting by... The acting is phenomenal. Yeah, Ellen Page and Willem Dafoe was amazing. Speaking of that company... Yeah, look at you. <laughs> Man, you've been watching a lot of Kind of Funny lately, haven't you, with your, with your Greg Actually, Miller segues? Not really. Uh, well, okay. I have, but yeah. So speaking of Quantic Dream and Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, they showed a... This is another game where... Shut up. I don't need to know any more about it until it comes out. Stop it. You've shown me three different scenarios now, and I don't want to see any more because I don't want to have a predisposed uh, opinion of those scenarios and how I should go through them. I want to do it, you know... Like I would do it exactly. Um, so they showed a trailer for Detroit Become Human, and, or as I like to call it, Detroit Rock City. Yep. And this was another controversial trailer because it depicted child abuse. Uh, it's a fucking game. Yeah, and who who says they can't? All right, we won't get back on it. Anyway, choices though. You have yeah, choices. You make the choices. You play a character that is an android, and it's a, she's a nanny or a babysitter or whatever. Probably more like a nanny. It looks like. And the, the dad is abusive, and one of the first things they show in that trailer is the dad telling the android, your, prim- your primary directive is to take care of this kid. And right away, that sets the stage for, okay, I'm its protector, I protect this kid, I feed this kid, I clothe this kid, I am this kid's protector. So they kind of give you that right out of the gate. And I was like, oh no, this is going to get real dark. This is going to get real fucking dark. And then sure enough, boom, it gets really dark and it depicts you know, this angry father who abuses the child and the mom has left. And then you have all these different ways to go about this scenario. And mm-hmm. they show some really crazy shit, like some just standing there and watching it happen and picking up the ashes after, uh, getting in the way and... Uh, being somewhat passive aggressive and getting the shit kicked out of you and super aggressive to the point where you pick up a gun and shoot the dad and it's like all these different paths and that you can go down and it's the thing that these games are always good at like that's the thing I really liked about Heavy Rain the was, multitude of choices it, that you can pick and it takes the most mundane things and makes them enjoyable somehow in, in Heavy Rain, I know you weren't a huge fan of it, but like... I love Heavy Rain. Well, but this scene oh, in particular. Yeah. Fucking I shaving think, and no. drawing and like taking... The, it, the first time was fun. Second time when it played, yeah, I was like, yeah. all right, I'm Identifying done. with this person and character by doing their mundane activities and then you lose your son. Yeah. It just It's a way to connect you to the character. Yeah. And that's what, that's what David Cage is very, very good at. I know people want to complain about how his storytelling is very popcorn movie blockbuster-ish to where it's the the heights of things and doesn't have a lot of the nuance and subtlety but uh i i'm okay with that yeah. it doesn't bother me it's like and, a fucking interactive movie yeah and i really and i love that i really really looking forward to this game um the other trailer that they've shown with uh the guy that's a host like a like negotiator a cop negotiator yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. and trying to talk somebody out of jumping or trying to stop yeah. a crime and there's all these different ways you can go about it and yeah it just seems like they took the procedural stuff from heavy rain and the cinematic style from beyond two souls and finally put it together because i've always said heavy rain plays better than beyond two souls as far as it being a game but beyond has the better story hands down hands down the better story oh for sure so hopefully they've taken those two things and kind of meshed them put them together yeah this is their fourth game yeah 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 the first game was called indigo Indigo prophecy Prophecy. or Fahrenheit in other countries, but yeah, uh, Indigo Prophecy, then Heavy Rain, then Beyond, and now this. I actually have a copy of Indigo Prophecy if you've never played that. Yeah, so. I haven't played that one either, but I think you said it was in uh, PlayStation Store? Uh, yes, you can buy it on the PS4. Yeah, I might, have, I might have to do that. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is one of the games that I've... I mean, I love uh, Quantic Dreams. Yep. I love their um, their style. Because yeah. like, as a person who loves movies, like... Being able, like, watch a movie and say, no, don't do that, do this. You know, you could actually... Don't go up those stairs, stop <laughs> actually it. actually tell, make the person go wherever you want it to go because you have those unlimited options. Do you want to go out the window? Do you want to go out the door? Do you want to jump through the window, yeah. you know? Do you want to break the door down? Do you want to make your own fucking entrance, you know? Or it's exit. Funny. I had a, a moment when I was playing Heavy Rain 
where I was like, man, this guy's a real piece of shit. And then I realized I was the one. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm the pe- like, I'm the piece doing? of shit. Uh, it's um, so you played Heavy Rain. Yeah. It's the scene where uh, the dad, the wife has left him and everything, and the dad and the other girl are in a hotel room, and oh, you, you yeah. can you can have sex, you can you can romance, yeah. and I was like. And I started playing this game, and I was playing and playing and going through it. And like halfway through the sequence, I was like, "Man, this guy's a real piece of shit. His kid is missing, and he's over here trying to capture." Oh, I'm the one doing this. <laughs> I'm the piece of shit. God damn it! <laughs> but yeah, it's just real funny, man. Like, it, I love those games, and I love the way they tell stories. And I'm really excited about this one for sure. Yeah. Um. Every like any game you play of Quantic. Yeah. dreams like play it how you would play <laughs> yeah it. play it how you would play it. that's the best way to play yeah. these games especially i know you have other games yeah you can or play it however you want to but these particular games it's just play it as yourself because yeah. you, you just you learn apparently, apparently a lot of a lot about yourself yeah. <laughs> apparently i would have sex with some random girl uh it was hilarious so i'm playing like the, when this happened my wife was it, alexis was into watching me watching this game she thought it was really cool and I was playing, and she was sitting there watching, and I look at her, I was like, can you believe this motherfucker, what he's doing? And then she was like, she's the one that pointed out, she's like, aren't... So she goes, oh, so that's a cutscene? I go, no. And she goes, so you're the one playing it? And I go, oh, yeah, I guess I'm a piece <laughs> of shit, huh? And we all started laughing, had a good laugh about it. But yeah, it was pretty funny, man. I love I love David Cage as a writer, and like his whole... I, again, he made he may take you to like the heights of story storytelling and it's like the blockbuster style the big set pieces if you will Mm -hmm. and it might lack some subtlety and nuance but i really felt that beyond had a lot of good subtlety and nuance to the characters in the writing yeah um but just the the way it played was not very fun yeah the yeah i I, the control it it wasn't fun but for the most part like it was the best game yeah you know emotionally that i've ever played yeah um, and I was looking over here because um, I was looking for a release date, but there's still no release date. Is 2018. That... Oh, it's 2018. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even say that here. That's the one I'm more excited about. Like, yeah. Last of Us, I can wait. This one, I want it now. <laughs> yeah. 2018. Um, so at E3, they came out and said, hey, any, any trailer that we show now that we have a 2018 date on, it's for the first half of 2018. This wasn't one of the ones that had 2018 on it, but they Quantic Dream has said, and Sony has said, this is a Detroit is a 2018 game, so it's probably going to be around summertime, I would assume, because they're not going to want to put this game out in the fall when it's heavy releases. It'll probably right. be out end of spring, early summer. So first half, hopefully. Hopefully. But yeah, 